Every now and then, when you're adding and subtracting rationals, which have uncommon denominators, there's a shortcut that appears. And I want to use this one as an example. Uh, if you look at the denominators, 5x minus 6phi and 6phi minus 5x, those are different denominators. They are uncommon. And what you might, as your first try, think of doing is multiplying each side or each fraction by the, the denominator from the other fraction, okay? And this would not be incorrect. I want to make sure you understand this is a legitimate way of doing this, but it's certainly not the easiest way of doing it. And I would rather do the easiest way of this problem. So, um, yes, you can go ahead for an exercise if you're interested and work through this. Um, it, it'll all be fine, but let's, let's try something a little simpler, okay? I want to point out something to you. And maybe we should try factoring before we get too far into this. Let's try factoring um, on the left side. And I, I don't see anything to factor on the top, and I don't see anything to factor on the bottom. There's no common factors. There's nothing to do. And we come over to the right side, and it's the same story. Nothing to factor. And you might go and write the bottom right denominator the same way. But let's, let's just try something else. Humor me now. Factor out a negative 1. And the reason I'm choosing a negative 1 here is because I suspect there's something going on that is, um, that is really s simple if we can see the trick. See this negative 6 phi? It's a positive 6 phi over here. And if you look at the other one, it's a 5x on this side and a negative 5x over here. Well, it, it looks to me like they're only off from each other by a factor of negative 1. So let's, let's go ahead and try to factor that out. If I divide 6 phi by negative 1, I get negative 6 phi. And if I divide five, negative 5x five by negative 1, I get positive 5x. Well, now look. These two denominators or not that negative one, these two denominators right here are actually common. So we don't need to go ahead and, uh, you know, multiply by factors on each side. We just need to deal with that negative one. Um, and I'll just point something out to you. Um, what's one divided by negative five? If you plug it into your calculator, don't you get the same result as negative one divided by five? point is, it doesn't matter whether your negative sign is on the bottom or on the top, okay? Or, if you prefer, you can think of it this way. I'm going to take that 1 over negative 5 and multiply it by a crazy 1. My crazy 1 is negative 1 over negative 1. And that produces 1 over, um, sorry, a negative 1 over positive 5. Okay, so let's take that negative sign and move it up top. This will give me negative 6x minus 5 over 5x minus 6, the original unblemished uh, uh, fraction from the right, from the left. And now I'm going to add negative 1 times 3x minus 2 phi. Okay, I moved that negative 1 up top, and now what I have on bottom is the exact same denominator. So now you can really just combine these things. There wasn't any foiling necessary. Okay, 5x minus 6 phi. And we just group up our terms on top. I've got a negative 6x over here, negative 3x over there. Okay, so that makes negative 9x. And it looks like I've got a, let's see, what do we have here? A negative phi and a positive 2 phi when you multiply it by that negative 1. So that becomes negative, positive, that becomes plus 5. And there's nothing else to cancel out at this point. We have simplified this into a single fraction, and that is where we stop.